So I recently picked up the Books Note Air 2 Plus and I immediately knew I wanted to replace the original stylus. So I started doing a bunch of research and picked up three that I've put through the test and I'll show you my favorite and the one that I think you should pick up. But let's start first with my least favorite, the Wacom One. So I picked up the Wacom pen because I was a long time Intuos user and this pen looks a lot like the Intuos 4 pen. And so I had really high hopes for it. And sadly, when I got it in, it just feels nothing like the Intuos 4 pen. From a shape perspective, it has a very similar shape and the comfort is decent, but it has this button which acts more like a rocker knob. If you press the front end of the button, it just doesn't do anything. Um, this button is an eraser button, which I find that I prefer over a traditional eraser, but this one is just not satisfying to use. As far as comfort goes, actually pretty comfortable. Uh, let's do a quick writing test. And as soon as I go to use the pen, I re-remember what I don't like about it, which is the nib tip is incredibly hard and fast and you just fly around. It actually reminds me a bit of a hard version of the Apple Pencil, which is part of what I was trying to get away from, is I just want a bit more control that's not fatiguing and this pen is just not it. Um, again, very, very hard. I'm pretty confident the nibs will not wear down, but it's not a very enjoyable experience to use. You can use the nibs from the other pens in this pen, but given that the button also doesn't feel great, it's probably more trouble than it's worth. The other thing I noticed about this pen is it's the finest writing of all the pens. Like when you write a stroke, it's thinner than on any of the other pens. And that's not necessarily a problem, it's just something to note. Next up is the Books Air Pen, which is the pen that comes with the Books Note Air 2 Plus. And there's a lot to like about this pen. It has a very rigid feel. It has the least give when you, when you write of any of the pens. Um, and it feels a bit like a felt tip marker that's rigid, that doesn't really give. Overall, it's a pretty good pen. I actually really enjoy it. The issue is that it doesn't have an eraser and it also seems like the nibs wear down fairly quickly. I'll give you a quick writing test. So with this pen, I have a great amount of control. It's not the best feeling pen. Um, it feels very plasticky, um, but it has the added benefit that it magnets to the side of the books. Um, it doesn't magnet well, but it magnets the best of any of the pens here. So that's a big plus for me as I wanna be able to take the books on the go. So the biggest issue with this pen, honestly, is its lack of eraser. And so if you want a pen with a sturdy writing feel, that also magnets to the side of the books, I'd recommend picking up the books pen with the eraser. So moving on to my runner up, which is the Stadler Norris Digital Jumbo. They make this pen in two versions. They make it in a thin version without an eraser and then this triangular shape with the eraser. This pen is great. It has a nice soft writing feel. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the shape, although my wife actually really prefers this shape and she's a school teacher and mentions that the shape is actually ergonomically correct for how you're supposed to write. I just apparently write incorrectly. It has one of my favorite writing feels of the bunch. I really love the nib and the way it feels. Again, it mimics quite a bit of real pencil. It doesn't qu require quite as much force, but in this case, I think I actually prefer it to the resistance of a real pencil. For me, the only real nitpicks I have is the shape doesn't doesn't fit me perfectly, and I prefer an eraser button to a true eraser. Now, the eraser on this is a bit weird. It's not rubber and it's not plastic, um, but it's also not really all that precise. What I mean by that is not that the pen itself isn't precise, it's just that it's a large area. Again, you'd have the same issue with a real pencil. It's just solidified the fact that I prefer an eraser button to an actual eraser. So let's see how it writes. So like I said before, this has a really satisfying writing feel. If they made this one in a round shape with an eraser button, this would probably be my favorite of the bunch. But because they don't make that, I instead prefer this next pen, which is the Samsung S6 Lite S Pen. 
It is a very small pen with a really premium feel with an eraser button. It has the softest feel of any of the pens here, but is still precise. It has something to do with this nib that they use. Um, I've put this nib in all the other pens and it softens each of them. But even though I've tried this tip in all the other pens, I still actually prefer it in this pen itself. It, it is a great shape for me. It's that rounded shape that I was referring to. It could be a little bit bigger, but I don't find it uncomfortable. Um, and the button placement is great. It's on the opposite side of this flat edge. So I use that flat edge to cradle in between my first two fingers, and then I have my thumb right in front of that button, and then if I need to erase, I just rock back to it. Um, really, really comfortable. So let's see how it writes. It, it feels good. <laughs> Every time I write with it, I'm reminded that it's by far my favorite. I just feel much more fluid. I have tons of control and it's just a joy to write with. Before I switched over to the books, I was using a Studio Neat Mark II and I really loved that pen. Honestly, if I could get that pen in a stylus, I would, but I can't. And this is the closest thing I've found thus far to it. Hey, thanks for sticking around. I've got links to this and all the other pens down in the description. And if you've got a question about any of them, feel free to drop it down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe so that you'll know when I post in the future. And until next time, have a great day.